Hi, I'm Torben Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip video. Today I will show you how to perform different validations for persist and update. But before we get started, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new Hibernate tip videos. You will find new videos on this channel every week. So today's question is, I'm using bean validation to validate my entities automatically before they get persisted and updated. I define different validation groups for insert and update operations. Can I tell Hibernate which validation groups it shall use before persisting or updating an entity? Yes, the JPA specification defines a set of configuration parameters to configure which validation groups shall be validated before performing an insert, update, and remove operation. Let's take a look at an example in the IDE. The JPA and Bean validation specifications integrate very easily. You can annotate your entity attributes with Bean validation annotations, which specify the validation you want to perform. The validation will then get triggered automatically before each lifecycle state change. As you can see here, I use the min and the max annotations to ensure that the numpages attribute contains a value between 100 and 1000. The min validation references the published book interface as a validation group. This validation is now part of the published book validation group and no longer part of the default group. In the next step, you can set which validation groups shall be validated before an entity gets persisted, updated, or removed. By default, your JPA implementation uses the default group before persisting and updating an entity and doesn't perform any validation before removing it. You can change that in your persistence.xml file using the parameters that you can see here on the slide. As you can see in this example, I used the JavaX persistence validation group pre-update to tell Hibernate to validate the published book validation group before an entity gets updated. I don't change the default groups for the pre-persist and pre-remove validation. So before an entity gets persisted, Hibernate will trigger the validation of the default group and will not trigger any validation before the entity gets removed. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content, like an ebook about the Java 8 support in Hibernate, a printable PDF version of this Hibernate tip, lots of cheat sheets, and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip, and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye!